America's Got Talent, Nick Cannon. I like that. I get to do it. I get to Lots do it. Lots of energy job. this morning. Right? That's what I'm talking about. Welcome to, to BT. Oh, What's yeah. popping? Nick Cannon finally comes to visit. Do you know that I'm the you in Canada? I've heard. <laughs> and you are much prettier than me. Please. I can say that much. Big shoes to fill. You do a brilliant job. Tell us about this season and Heidi Klum and Mal B. What an awesome addition to the panel. Yeah, man. They brought so much like energy to that panel. I mean, obviously, you got Howie Mandel and Howard Stern who are like, you know, they're, they're good. But when the <laughs> ladies came through, they just took over the whole show. And I mean, we had a great time for season eight. Okay, Howie versus Howie. Is it really? I mean, I want some scoop here. Is it really a love hate? Is it a hate hate? It, what yeah, is it? yeah, they not to love love. They're like kissing this season. Didn't you see? Yeah, that? there like, was they're some like love love, but they're still not the... to like separate them. It was <laughs> it was interesting, but uh, I mean, it's one of those things where when you have uh, a panel of judges that are very opinionated, there's going to be days where they don't want to talk to each other and all that. But yeah. then at the end of the day, it's like a big family, and I mean, you see it on the show. They actually really, really uh, react and embrace each other the way they do. On... And you are such a lovable, well dressed, amazing, dynamic well, thank host. You. It is the toughest host job of any reality show franchise in the world the Britain's Got Talent people they're the ones who started this franchise yes. throughout the world and they said it's the most exhausting position what keeps you going season after season you just gotta have fun I always tell everybody it's the best summer job I've ever had you know what I mean watching people accomplish their dreams and, and kind of reach for the stars it's it's amazing and then it's so silly you know because sometimes people are doing the most ridiculous things you've ever seen but it, you got to embrace it and have a good time with it. you guys called that winner all season I know Howie Mandel did he's like you're gonna take it you're gonna take it with the, the, the yeah. illustrations and the dancing to it and I mean I think I think the reason why is because you couldn't put that guy in a box I mean he one moment he would come out and and blow you away with the dance move the next thing it would be an illusion i mean his, he was just a one-man show that kind of gave it his all so i mean they fell in love with him and he won a million dollars and you're already filming the next one so you can well, tell us and confirm the judging panel is the same see well this is the thing they hired me first before they hired the judges <laughs> i gotta go to every city so i hope everybody comes back but hey i'm there <laughs> <laughs> we got that confirmed and i'm so happy you're doing well i was very worried about you i mean between you know your uh, producing of talent your radio show right. this show you really got run down your kidney failed yeah you had clots in your lungs yeah it got it, it it was like this spiral of just so many things that were going on with my health because i was just kind of you know going too hard honestly i was i wasn't uh, taking care of my body the proper way, but since then, I mean, I'm in tip-top shape now. I mean, making sure that I'm, I'm exercising, eating the right things. But uh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta treat yourself right before Absolutely. you kind of go out the wrong way. That's scary. You gotta yeah. be there for your babies. Yes, I do. I yeah. gotta be daddy to my twins. And you guys recently, you and Mariah recently renewed your vows in Disney. Talk to me about how that came about for your five-year anniversary. Congrats. We do that every year. I mean, it's ridiculous. I understand That's so cute. it. I know. <laughs> like, we just we go and get married every single year and the cool thing is that our kids are born on our wedding anniversary so we call that day family day so we get an opportunity to you know we were in Paris the year before last year we were in Disneyland and it's just it. it's like you get to do what are you gonna do stuff. for your 10th year and what are you gonna dance know. to speaking of guys you can listen to some really cool tunes like you do yes. in style talk to me about this the absolutely my Intune headphones you can get them now that at Walmart and it's like it's amazing because it's one of those things where everybody you know has the 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 high-end headphones but these these are a very affordable, durable, and the sound is amazing. So I partner with uh, Monster, and you know they're incredible. They have my incredible logo on it and we everything. Got a superstar, who needs yeah. Superman when you got that? Yeah. yeah. Listen, do they come in my size? They do. Because I got a big head. Oh. Well, you <laughs> do you have like extra large? These work. With all your travel, see, he looks cool in these. Me? Yeah, that's sexy. Woo! I'm listening to a little uh, four count. Did you, is it true? You, you found these guys? I did find these guys. I, I know talent. You know talent. Yes. Can you hear me? So, uh, actually, these are really good. They're quite soundproof. For more information, <laughs> at Nick Cannon, fourcount.com, nickcannon.com. Get these at Walmart. They're under 100 bucks. Coming up next, we're going to one, two, uh, one, two, what? three, what? four. Four count, uh, Nick Cannon, in the house. Don't change that channel. What? We're going to be back where you're playing. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. I love him.